Good news for Hendersonville residents. New data from the USDA shows their excessive deer population has decreased lately. The city's deer population is still above the state's average, though. But the latest numbers show a dip from previous years. News 2's Sam Comenti spoke with the head of Hendersonville's Deer Committee about what those numbers tell them. An aerial USDA survey from 2023 reveals a total of 1,212 total deer in Hendersonville. That's a lot of deer. But if you can believe it, it's a substantial decrease from just two years ago. It shows or indicates that we have some improvement. Uh, we, you know, it's hard to quantify exactly what that looks like because it has been two years since the survey has been done. Gerald Barrett, chair for Hendersonville's Deer Committee, says the city has three deer hotspots. The Saunders Ferry in Indian Lake Peninsulas and the Country Hills Golf Club. Indian Lake had the most deer with 542 observed across roughly seven square miles. This was the baseline. And then, you know, we'll see if the things we do continue to uh, have a positive impact. Uh, over the next couple of years. The committee will receive another population survey at the end of 2025, likely in November, according to Barrett. We do see progress, not only through the survey, but through, you know, reduction um, in deer collision, deer car collisions uh, has been a, a positive. You know, anecdotal information from people in the neighborhood, certainly, you know, they are seeing, you know, some fewer deer. While their committee of just seven volunteers is seeing positive momentum, their idea of making licensed hunters available for residential hire is far from being finalized. The goal is to have it before uh, hunting season. I know we got a lot of calls last time, but I assure you that it's not ready, and when it is, we'll post it. To stay informed on all things deer, Barrett encourages residents to visit their new Deer Committee dashboard. Sam Comenti, News 2.